Throughout the course of the 2020 election cycle, MSNBC has repeatedly brought on guests who have smeared Bernie Sanders or his supporters or both. Guests have said that he's just an old white male and he needs to fall back. He makes my skin crawl. And now here's what an MSNBC panelist said about Bernie Sanders supporters. There's, there's a ceiling. There is nowhere to go, but there is no up to go. And all of those support, I actually heard overheard someone saying that I thought was an interesting point that um, basically at this point, if you are still supporting Sanders as opposed to Warren, it's kind of showing your sexism because she has more detailed plans and her plans have evolved. I thought it was an interesting point, and I think there may be something to it. Yeah, I agree with all that. <laughs> it's, um, it's a good answer. You know, that was disgusting. That was nothing more than a brazen smear. And you know, it's not Elizabeth Warren's responsibility to condemn this. She can't possibly condemn everything. But it would be much appreciated if she actually did the right thing and condemned this sort of rhetoric, condemned this sort of behavior, a smear at her behest. She should say, you know what, I don't want your support. I condemn what she said there because I know that Bernie Sanders supporters have their reasons for supporting him over me. And this type of rhetoric is unacceptable. This is gutter politics. We're better than this. Will Elizabeth Warren condemn this? Probably not, but I would absolutely love it if she did because this is downright morally reprehensible. And before I get to the substance, not that there was much, but think about this. Fox News has probably done less damage to Bernie than MSNBC because when Fox News smears Bernie Sanders as a communist or a socialist, it holds less weight because they are the right-wing Republican Party propaganda arm. However, when MSNBC does it, which has a lot of left-leaning Democratic Party voting viewers, well, that actually holds more weight. So when they see someone say, you know what, if you're supporting Bernie over Warren, it's probably because you're sexist then maybe they're thinking, you know what, I don't want to perpetuate sexism, so maybe I should back Warren over Bernie Sanders. You know, it's vapid, it's superficial, and it's a smear, and it's downright disgusting. You can just as easily say, anyone who's choosing to support Warren over Bernie Sanders is anti-Semitic. You can easily make that case because she did not provide us with any evidence, not even an anecdote, no polls, no nothing. So she just said it, because this is based off of the feelings of one person, what one person said. And there was zero pushback from the host. In fact, the host, towards the end of the clip, as you saw, agreed with her. So this is absolutely, it's so frustrating because this is a news organization. We expect them to present us with data and facts, but there's nothing. They didn't base this off of a video where they interviewed Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren supporters and maybe one of them seemed a little bit sexist, they just said it. That's bad. That's harmful. And not to mention, it's factually incorrect because Elizabeth Warren's plans are not more detailed than Bernie Sanders. First and foremost, her foreign policy is far less detailed than Bernie Sanders. And what we know about her foreign policy is that she's more hawkish than Bernie Sanders. Her wealth tax, student loan debt cancellation plans, they don't go as far as Bernie Sanders. She's wishy-washy when it comes to Medicare for all, and she doesn't have a plan to cancel medical debt. So there are actually policy reasons why we should support Bernie Sanders over Elizabeth Warren because objectively speaking, he is better than Elizabeth Warren if you truly want social democracy. But here's why this individual is smearing Bernie Sanders. Take a guess. She is really, really wealthy. So she is an heiress. Her dad's net worth is estimated to be between 500 million and 1.1 billion. He also owns a $30 million yacht. And his firm was one of Hillary Clinton's top donors in 2016. So I don't know why she is supporting Elizabeth Warren over Bernie Sanders. But I mean, if I had to take a guess, maybe it's because she's an elitist. Maybe it's because she knows that Bernie Sanders' wealth tax goes further. It would take more money away than Elizabeth Warren's. I don't know. We don't even have to go through her motivations to denounce this. This type of gutter politics should be unacceptable. Anyone who's watching MSNBC should automatically realize that this person is a bad faith actor. She doesn't actually care about policy. She has a political agenda. But, you know, here's the thing. People who watch MSNBC, 
they may not necessarily just automatically know that that was a bad faith smear of Bernie Sanders supporters, which is why we all have to come out and condemn this type of behavior and rhetoric because it's damaging. It's absolutely damaging. So, I mean, I don't know what else to say. This isn't surprising anymore, and I haven't been able to cover all of the attempts to besmirch Bernie Sanders' character on MSNBC, because if I did, I would never have any time to do anything, because they're constantly doing it. But I absolutely feel like it's really important to condemn some of the worst, and this is one of the worst, because you're not just smearing a candidate, you are smearing his base of support, which the Democratic Party, let me remind you, is going to need to win in 2020 and it seems like they haven't learned their lesson again but what adds another layer of absurdity to this is that bernie sanders support base it's not just straight white males his support base is mostly women and it is multiracial so i mean for you to say this when most of his supporters are women it just it makes it more absurd but it, it doesn't even matter people they say things on msnbc that aren't fact-checked, right? You'd expect them just being more left-leaning than Fox News to be a little bit more rigorous in the things that they say. You'd expect the hosts to care about facts, you know, to push back a little bit. But of course, that's not what we're dealing with. We have bad faith actors just going out of their way to smear because they don't like Bernie Sanders. Well, whatever the reason, I don't know why, but I mean, since they're doing it, I can just attribute my own reason to why they disapprove of Bernie Sanders. I think it's because they're anti-Semitic. Uh, if you don't think that's the case, well, I'm not presenting any data for my arguments. It's just a feeling. So, um, whatever, you're anti-Semitic if you don't support Bernie Sanders. My argument is just as persuasive as her argument, because I presented an equal amount of facts as she did. And precisely that is zero. But, you know, who cares about facts when we are just saying things that uh, aren't even based on anecdotes? I mean, this is really what political discourse has devolved into in 2020. In the age of Donald Trump, when they're constantly complaining about him calling everything fake news, shouldn't you be going out of your way to reassure viewers that they should be confident in you? Keep sucking, because my channel will only continue to grow.